Today we're going to be talking about counting to measure time. I can compare length, capacity, weight, and temperature, shorter and longer. Let's review measurement words. So we can measure length, which is how long, height, which is how tall, capacity, which is how much, weight, which is how heavy. We use words like longer, shorter, heavy, light, tall, short, empty, full. So let's think about which tool you would use to weigh grapes. Would you use a clock or a scale to weigh grapes? You would use the scale. Which is lighter? The whistle or the brick? Lighter. The whistle is lighter. It weighs less. Select the tallest object. So which one is the tallest? The mop, the chicken, or the pickle? The tallest. The pickle is the tallest. Which one is the shortest? The pencil? the key or the nail. Which one is the shortest? The key is the shortest. Which holds the least amount? So the smallest amount. Which holds the smallest amount? The spoon, the cup, or the jug? The spoon holds the least amount. So how do you measure time? Think about the word time. How do you measure time? All of these tools that you see here are used to measure time. Have you ever seen any of these? How do you think each one is used to measure time? So a clock, I bet you've seen a clock. And there's different kinds of clocks. There's an hourglass and that uses sand to measure time. There's a stopwatch, which is when you press a button. And people a long time ago, they used to use the sun to measure the time and a watch. And I know a lot of you probably see your parents or friends using their phone to tell the time. We use words like less time and more time to measure time. You might have also heard words like hour, minutes, days, weeks, months. Those are all time words. Today we're going to focus on words like less time and more time. And we're going to think about five minutes or less or about one hour or more. So if I say five minutes or less, how would you describe that amount of time? You would say that is a short amount of time and about an hour or more, one hour or more. That is a long amount of time. So shorter or longer in terms of time. All right, so let's look at these pictures down here at the bottom. We have taking a road trip, tying a shoe, sleeping at night, playing a soccer game and coloring a picture. And we're gonna think about which one would take less time and which one would take more time. So taking a road trip, would that take less time or more time? That would take more time. That's probably gonna take a while. What about tying a shoe, less time or more time? Is that something you can do fast or does it take a while? Probably less time when we think about the other things down here. I know you're still learning to tie shoes, but pretty soon it'll be pretty quick sleeping at night. That is more time. What about playing a soccer game? Is that something really quick or does that take more time? It takes more time. And then what about coloring a picture? Less time or more time? When we look at taking a road trip, sleeping, a soccer game, what about coloring a picture? Is that going to be with less time or more time? That's going to probably be less time than those. Now, let's look at five minutes or less or about an hour or more. So remember, five minutes or less would mean it's short. About an hour or more means it takes a longer time to do. So putting on a coat. What do you think? Is that five minutes or less or is that about an hour or more? That's five minutes or less. That's quick. What about watching a movie? That's probably going to be about an hour or more, right? That takes a while. What about taking out the trash? If you take your trash outside, is that going to be five minutes or less or about an hour or more? That's pretty quick, five minutes or less. 
What about grocery shopping? When you go grocery shopping with your family, is that five minutes or less very short or about an hour or more? Probably about an hour or more. And then the last one, brushing your teeth. Five minutes or less, short, or about an hour or more, long. That's going to be pretty short, five minutes or less. When you want to measure time and you're just learning how, you can count to measure time. So today we're going to be practicing counting to measure time. We're going to practice how much time it takes to walk or to tiptoe. Which one do you think would take longer, walking or tiptoeing? I would say probably tiptoeing because that you have to get up on your toes. How can you measure the time it takes? So you can do that by counting. So we're going to practice that right now. So we're going to look at this video and we're going to count how long it takes cash to go across the room. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to say six. So I would put a six here because it took about six. We're going to count and see how many counts it takes for cash to tiptoe across the room. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it took him eight counts to tiptoe. Now, remember, I used the same room and I counted at the same speed. So. It took longer for him to tiptoe across the room. And now you're going to try. You're going to try walking and counting and tiptoeing and counting. And you're going to go to Seesaw to complete your activity. I think it's